Israeli soldiers say they found multiple heavyweight rockets and UAVs used by Islamic jihadists in a raid last night. The rockets have a range of about 100 miles and explosive warheads weighing over 500 pounds. And the IDF also showing the inside of a Hamas tunnel uncovered in Gaza's biggest hospital. Trey Yinks live on the ground in southern Israel with the latest. Trey. Yeah, hey, Todd Carly, good morning. Israeli forces continue to work their way deeper into Gaza City, overnight releasing a video of what they say is a Hamas tunnel on the Al-Shifa hospital complex. Now, it's important to note the Israelis have promised here they would be uncovering a Hamas headquarters. We've not yet seen any evidence to support those claims, but they did release this video and photos showing what they say is a Hamas tunnel, in addition to weapons inside the radiology department of Gaza's largest hospital. Now, Hamas has denied that they used the hospital as a headquarters and note that there are still hundreds of Palestinian patients receiving treatment there, including dozens of babies who are in desperate need of medical support. As this is taking place overnight, we found out some horrific news about two of the hostages. Their bodies were recovered near to the Al-Shifa complex. The Israelis say Yehuda Weiss, a woman in her 60s from the small kibbutz of Beri near the Gaza border. She was taken into Gaza on October 7th during the massacre. Her husband was slaughtered and there was hope that she was still alive. She's a mother of five children and she is, uh, is, is someone who was receiving cancer treatment when she was kidnapped and taken into Gaza. Additionally, the Israelis recovered the body of Corporal Noah Marciano, a soldier, a 19-year-old who was operating near the Gaza border when the massacre took place. Hamas had released a hostage video with her in it, and then at the end of the video, a image of her body. Today, her funeral is being held in central Israel. All of this is coming as the Israelis say they are starting to prepare for operations in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. Reports indicate Israeli forces have dropped leaflets near Gaza's second largest city of Khan Yunis. And as you noted, they've uncovered what they say is a stockpile of rockets from Islamic Jihad. Some of these rockets quite large. We're not sure if all of the rockets are, uh, are in use. Uh, some of them could be props that Hamas and Islamic Jihad use in parades within Gaza. But it's of note here the Israelis blowing up this facility that they say was a training facility for Hamas and Islamic Jihad as they continue to operate inside the Gaza Strip. Todd, Carly. Trey Yang's live on the ground for us in southern Israel. Trey, thank you.